Prescription pills being sold and traded online. Social media sites are being used as a platform to sell opioids, making it easier than ever for those drugs to get into the wrong hands. 24 Hour News 8's Megan Sanctorum is in the newsroom with what we're finding. Megan? Some of the posts pop up when you do a simple search, and others are disguised with code words. Either way, this is a trend local recovery groups are watching closely. After logging on to social media, it doesn't take long to find posts like this. Frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Pills and other drugs for sale. It's hard enough to get it out of our neighborhoods, let alone being in every single household at a click of a button. It's just one more avenue. People like Kenny McRee say they'll be watching. The pills are the pathway. McRee runs an organization called Ravenswood Hope. The group helps connect those battling addiction and their families with the resources they need to get clean. So far, he says he hasn't heard of postings like this being used in Indianapolis, but that's not to say it won't start. I'm sure it's on its way. He says sometimes the postings can be tougher to track. They'll disguise uh, meeting places, um, they'll disguise the words, they'll disguise things to get past the law enforcement. And this is something that hits close to home for McCree. His daughter overcame a heroin addiction and has been clean for more than a year. The addiction started after she was prescribed pain pills for an injury, and he says knowing those types of pills could be readily available online is something every parent needs to watch out for. They should, in general, be worried about social media and be proactive in monitoring and overseeing what their kids are looking at. We also reached out to IMPD to see if this was something that they are seeing here in Indianapolis. They say at this point it hasn't been a major problem. In the newsroom, Megan Sanctorum, 24-Hour News 8.